Yeah, I think they're about to be ready. Mm -hmm. Those are peanuts. Landon, if you ever see these plants, stay away. They will kill you. Yeah, we saw them when we came in. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is their cornfield, or maize, which is African and French and Native American for corn. Jackfruit. Fresh mango right off the tree. Yummy, yummy. Oh, here's some matoki. They're not big enough yet. Yeah, I think maybe the sambo who was turning, they came and cut. These guys are going to be the guard dogs eventually, but they're hiding in here because snakes try and kill them because they're just little. Got to protect them from snakes. This is Eagle's Wings Children's Village. <laughs> Behind me are the houses for family two. Uh, see, the kids are split into families of 12 boys and 12 girls, and then there's a parent couple that uh, looks after them. And they have these little villages. And so this one is just being completed, and tomorrow we're gonna uh, bring a whole bunch of kids in. They've been living in uh, the city. So now we're gonna get them out to the country, and uh, we have a nice little monkey party on the latrine. <laughs> it's awesome. Everyone likes the monkey party. I don't know if they know that the monkeys live in those bushes. That's the scary part. What's up? Oh, who is this? Josh. Josh. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> Joseph. Joseph. Jamira and Elsa. Uncle Luke? Uncle? Uncle Luke. I'm trying to find a mango tree. And apparently they have problems with monkeys. And there's been some monkeys like making noises and shaking bushes. But I haven't seen, like, only seen bushes move and heard noises. But I got a rock. Just in case. <laughs> a monkey attacks me. Oh shoot. Oh, I just saw one! I just saw two, I think. Why am I... Maybe I'll go back. I don't want to fight a monkey. <laughs> Welcome home, kids. It's the sort of stuff we just leave lying around, I guess. <laughs> Get one for the judge. Uh, and then just the shelter. Oh, we were just drumming before. We were drumming before.
Hi. Monkeys. Hi, monkey. <laughs> What's crazy about these monkeys is that there's no one in charge of them. Like, no one is... Like, they just are here. Wild. Just hanging out. Well, not so wild, I guess. Because people have been feeding them. It's hard to sneak up on monkeys when you're wearing squeaky wet crocs. But it'll look cool. Here. Now hold it. And wait. Do not go there. We have to lure the monkeys. Yes, we have to lure the monkeys. You want to come, guys? Well, that lure we go. Lure means attract. Yeah. This side, Walter, you'll get a better view. <laughs> Who really looks more ridiculous? The monkeys or the Canadians? <laughs> All laying there, big, hoping for a little monkey to take their food. That was pretty sweet. Camera that takes the smog out. De smog option. Africa is, yeah, it's pretty beautiful or whatever, but it's just so sketchy. I just don't know if it's worth it. But anyway, I mean, like, there's plenty of beautiful places in the world where you're not constantly at risk of dying. <laughs> Me saw a cow. Yeah. It sounds like two and a half feet So I'm back at uh, the orphanage, and uh, so the kids live here. And yesterday we saw monkeys at the lake, but those monkeys were very small compared to the ones I saw here in these bushes. They were bigger. They were like the size of baboons, which is kind of sketchy. Because like the ones at the lake, they were cute and eventually got annoying. But these ones, they could do some damage. They're like the same size as a kid. These gross birds just eat garbage all day. And I'm not sure if you can really tell, but they're actually quite huge. They're like... I don't know. Big and gross. One thing we've learned about Africa is that punctuality isn't really a, a virtue here. People don't really care. We're at a wedding and it was supposed to start a little while ago. And then we get here and it turns out that apparently we were supposed to pick up the groom and we didn't even know. And they thought that myself or Steve were the groom, but I'm not getting married, and he's already <laughs> married. We don't know anyone in the wedding, um, but being the only other white people here, they keep thinking we're family and keep asking us to be in pictures and stuff. But we don't know anyone, and it's weird. <laughs> This camera guy keeps coming up and like filming us, like putting a spotlight right in the face. Oh, it's awkward.